Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal, how to add a title in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now Premiere Pro can accept graphics from almost everywhere, including Photoshop and Illustrator with all the layers, any JPEG ping files with transparency. But I want to show you that there's a title designer built into Premiere Pro that's pretty darn powerful and contains a lot of great templates to use. Let's go have a look. All right, so I'm going to add a title over here. And there are three ways to create a title. I'll show you two different ways with the menus, File, New, Title title menu, new title, but here's what I prefer. In the project panel, down here, the new item icon, click and add new title. The reason I like it there is because I have more control of where the title is going. Sometimes if you don't have the right panel selected and you go to a file new, you'll find that title isn't even an option. It's not there to choose, so I just do it down here. It's going to create a title with the video settings and the time base and the pixel aspect ratio of the sequence I have in the front. I'm going to call this New York. Click OK. And it opens up. The one thing I want to describe to you that can be confusing is this little eyeball up here. When you turn it off and it's not blue, you'll see a typical transparent background. What I find that most people get confused with is You'll see that my playhead is down in here, and what you think is that we just created a title and we put it at this position in the uh, timeline. We didn't. We actually created a new title and put it in the project bin where we opened, where we had the project bin open. We just happened to be viewing the title at that point, and I can change that either by moving this around in here or I can change it in here by clicking and dragging left and right. And I'm actually moving it in the timeline. You still need to add the title to the timeline, and I could go and do that here now. But just so you, you don't get confused, when you uh, get out of this dialog box, or out of the title designer, you'll wonder, where the heck is it? Which, by the way, this isn't a dialog box. You can keep it open if you have two screens. You could keep it open here. Every time you double click on a title, you're editing that title. But I'm going to go back and turn it on just so we can see this for position, and that's really the reason for this. Now, in the top left-hand side, there are a bunch of uh, regular types of tools in here for text and drawing paths and shapes and things like that. So we could come in here and drag out a shape, and you notice some settings over here on the right, things like opacity, and I can click and drag that down, and then I can go back and grab a title, and I can click inside here, and I'll paste in some text I have in my clipboard, and then select all of that text, and I can either change that up in the top in here, or over on the right hand side over here. And color, you'll see that down at the bottom of the properties, and the fill color is solid and white, and I can either click on this little eyedropper, I can actually pick something in the video itself, or click in this little area, and just make this black, for instance. It's also keeping the uh, opacity of the, the last setting I had, so I might want to go back and change that opacity back to 100%. So here is our title. If I close this up, you'll see there it is, and I can drag it over on top. No rendering. Just hit go and play. Now that looks kind of boring, so let's use something a little bit different. I'm going to get rid of that completely. Go back and create a new title. And this time, use a template. So in the top uh, area here, you can open up the templates. And down at the bottom are styles that you can apply to text if you wanted to. But I'm going to grab these templates up here. This dialog box is a dialog box, and it is resizable. So you can easily come down here and uh, search through different things. For instance, there's a bunch of corporate formats in here. There's some education formats, and there's entertainment, information screens, and a whole pile of lower thirds that you could apply 
And the one I'm going to go for is this inspirational one in general. <clears throat> that one right there. Click OK. Now this one has a lot of different elements to it. Um, uh, if you click and drag, you can see there's the uh, text for that top title, text for the bottom. There's a graphic behind it inside here. So these are all different pieces. So I'm going to double click with the uh, arrow tool and that gives me the type tool. And I could either select all or make a selection in here. I'll paste in that. And again, down to the bottom, very carefully selecting where I want to go. There it is. Select all. And we'll call that New York. All right. And when I click, when I close this up, and just to get it out of the way, I now have it inside there. So there is my title. And if I want this to fade on, an easy way to do that is to select this and just add a, uh, just a, a default dissolve transition on both. If I hit Control D on Windows, Command D on the Mac, I've added a dissolve on both ends of that. And you can see it now fades in and then fades out. One other little tip here is I need to add another title over here, and this is Boston. Most people will select this title and choose copy and paste. The problem with copying and pasting is you're making an exact duplicate of that, not a, a copy of it. So when you change one, it's gonna change the other. The easier thing to do is to hold the Alt key on Windows, Option on Mac, click and drag a title. And when you do that, notice over here on the left-hand side, it's copied it, kept the same name, and changed it to copy 01. I'm going to change that to Boston. Whoops, because it's Boston. I'll select that and copy it. Double-click on it. And type Boston. And I'm just going to get rid of that lower piece because actually I don't even know where the heck this is when I took it. So now, there we go, Boston comes up and you'll notice that my dissolves are there because I copied that. So here's one for New York, here's one for Boston. Uh, they're both using the same uh, title template. They both look uh, great and they're easy to apply. Just remember to option or alt drag that when you're uh, making a, a second version of that. You cannot update all of these at the same time. So I get that question sometimes. I've got five titles, they all use template number one. How do I make them all template number two? You have to go and change each one of those. And if you apply a new template, unfortunately, it gets rid of all of your text in there. So best idea is to do some planning, choose the right kinds of designs first before you make those titles. So hopefully you found that informative. If you did, then go down to the bottom and click on the subscribe button for Video Revealed. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, then get on over to adobe.com and download your free 30-day trial. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best. Thank you.